Hello? Hello? More treats? Maybe one of those? Nope. Okay. Today we are grooming Rory, the four-year-old Maine Coon. You're gonna have to come out. Skeptical of her surroundings, and rightfully so, Rory is a typical Maine Coon. She acts pleasant and laid back, but when you least expect it, she attack. Yeah. Rory's death daggers were just trimmed, so I was able to skip that step today. She was moving quite a bit on the table, so I placed her in a happy hoodie. For some reason, most cats go into freeze mode when I put it on them, making my job much easier. I shaved out some matting, and then into the bath she goes. Okay. It's okay. You're cute. Just don't jump out of here. Something tells me that Rory is not having a good day. Despite her death stare burning a hole through me, she was taking the groom quite well. So far, anyway. After her bath, I dry her in the rage cage. Now this cage has one flaw. Why on earth it was ever designed to be clear all the way around, I will never understand. Try explaining to a scared cat why they can't run headfirst into plexiglass. Not a smart design if you ask me. Now this is where things get interesting. I was able to shave out some thick matting. I could submerge this tiny lion into soapy bath water, and I could dry her with the high velocity dryer. But the brush? Well, I might as well just sign my own death certificate. Okay, that was very unexpected. <laughs> you give me trouble, you get the bubble. There is something about a cat that looks like they're going to outer space that just brings me so much joy. I brush her out with my cat comb and then I shave her litter collectors. Kitty. Okay. Okay. I made her smell like blueberry bubble gum, and then I sent her on her way. Goodbye. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the raging Rory.